Hey guys, Gus here. I'm joined today with Theo. He's been on the channel a lot before, and we've made a lot of memes together, but today we're going to make something even creamier. That's thick and creamy macaroni and cheese. This is a con continuation of my unconventional oven series, where we make foodstuffs with things that you're not supposed to make foodstuffs with. So I use my MacBook Pro to edit all my videos on, and I often run into the problem of it getting very, very hot, overheating and shutting down programs. At first I thought this was a problem, un until today. So what we aim to do today is to cook some thick and creamy macaroni and cheese with some little chopped up Bar S Franks in our pot and aluminum foil, using nothing except for the MacBook Pro and the computer brick. Do you think it's going to work? Uh... It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> so here's what we're going to use to cook the mac and cheese on. We are going to wrap the ingredients in aluminum foil, fill this pot full of regular water. Uh, we're not cheating here. You use this little package of Bar S Franks because they're only 98 cents. Also, we're going to use this great value, thick and creamy mac and cheese. So to get the computer nice and hot, Theo is now going to open up every single program in the Adobe Suite. This computer has about four gigs of RAM and it already struggles when you're trying to use Photoshop and Adobe Premiere. So let's see how it handles the entire Adobe Suite. I think we're going to crash your computer. Oh, look at him. Honestly. Look at him. It's already <laughs> lagging. <laughs> Open up Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, yeah. do the entire uh, Microsoft Office tools. Fuck. Oh, God. It's lagging <laughs> pretty bad. All right, we're running out of RAM on the computer real quick here. We need to download free RAM. <laughs> let's get some free RAM. Download. Okay, so I just made like a 20-minute video file, and we are now starting an export on that in a really high resolution. Hopefully this should kick the fan into gear. <laughs> it took us a while to get here. It took us like 20 minutes because none of the programs opened right away. So like, well, we finally got half the Adobe Suite to open. They keep clicking in one by one, but the computer is completely overloaded at this point. It's been on my lap now for about 15 minutes. I'm just waiting for the fan to kick on. That's when you know that it's really getting stupid hot. You've got a nice tan. You're like sweating a little bit. I know, it's really warm. <laughs> just, uh... Uh, setting up the table. <laughs> what is it? What is it, Gus? What? I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm having so much fun, dude. <laughs> what? What are you doing? I'm playing. I'm playing my favorite game in the world. Why do you sound uncomfortable? No, I'm having fun. Can't you see by my smile? I'm playing the best thing in the world. It's my favorite game. What what game is it? It's it's called Poker Stars Play. Did, did you just look at your hand? What? No, I looked into my heart where this is ingrained because I play it religiously, incessantly, you might say. Every day, I can't stop playing the game. <laughs> you just sound uncomfortable. I'm sorry, I don't. I'm not uncomfortable. I love doing these kind of things. <laughs> you know what I love? What kind of things? Uh, pl playing Poker Stars Play. You just read your hand again. No, I'm just looking at the dirt on my nails. No, you're not. You just read your hand. Look at this. I'm playing a spin, a spin and go tournament. I just can't wait to show you very clear footage of me actually playing the game, Theo. <laughs> All right, you sound. You, you, you've never played this Keep game the before. On the phone. Okay. Theo, you know what my favorite part about this game is? Uh, what it's is It's the fact your... that it's free to play and download. Can you believe that? It seems very scripted. What, what does? The, the whole, the, the spiel you reading from your hand and the, the specific names you have to outline. I don't. No, I don't, I'm not, I don't need to specifically outline things or call people that action to download this game for free in the description down below if they see fit because it is free to play and very fun. It sounds like you've just. It's my favorite game! Is it in focus? Yeah, it's in focus. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna have fun if I. It's not focus. This isn't like a paid thing, but. Right? No. <laughs> Just love the game. <laughs> it's my favorite. Game. <laughs> this reminds me of a touching personal story that relates to the game. You're reading Stop. your hand again. God, I'm just stretching. I got carpal tunnel, and that's when me and my uncle used to go to the casinos on on Thursday evenings. We didn't interact so much, but he would mostly just sit there and and drink and smoke at the table. Stop filming my hand all right unless you're filming my poker hand which is both engaging and fun can't you tell by the look on my face i'm having fun all in. i went all in you went all in yeah much like my uncle did many times and he would often lose and leave me behind at the casino i have to walk home double up. look at he would never double up because he would lose every hand i cannot stress enough how unsuccessful he was at the casino and how hard this was for me when i was a child sometimes you just leave me there 
I have to walk. I have to walk home 10 miles. But you know, you, they can't leave you behind if the, if the casino's virtual. Can't leave you behind if it's for not a real casino. Theo, if you want to get this game um, for completely free, you can just f click on the link in the description, okay? This game is fun as hell, okay? The only thing I like more than this game is paying rent. So, our plan to get this cooking is, since we don't want to actually put the wet pan right on the bottom of the laptop. What we're going to do is we're going to set these two chairs together just like this. We're going to take the laptop and lay it across just like this. The bottom always gets the hottest. Then we're going to take a little strip of aluminum foil, rip it off nice and clean, place it down so that it can still conduct heat. That's getting pretty warm. <laughs> yeah. We're going to set the pan here, cover it up, wrap the entire thing in more aluminum foil. That's a lot of aluminum foil. <laughs> So that it really traps all the heat in, just like this. And then we're going to lay a blanket over the entire laptop. This <laughs> Dear is, God. This is a horrible idea, and this is the only computer I have. So I hope that we tow the line of tech destruction very carefully, because I don't have a tech racks budget. Now, with the hot dogs, what we are going to do is we're going to lay out two sheets like this. One, two. We're going to take out the hot dogs, cut them into the little slices like this, and lay a few sheets of them across like this. Put this other layer of aluminum foil on top, crimp the edges, and then wrap the hot dog double sheet around the power brick so that they can warm up. Uh, it's a good idea! What, what are you doing? I'm filling up the water in the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, so this is completely room temperature. To prove it, I'm going to stick in our thermometer. Okay, so the water is reading at about 63 degrees right now. It's very, very room temperature-y. So we are going to put a lid on this and stick it on the stove. Where's the hottest part? Um. Right. Ooh, corner pocket. Okay. Right there. I couldn't find the lid for this, so I'm going to have to use this bowl. I'm going to wrap some more aluminum foil around the hole process here very very carefully so I don't spill and ruin the only thing that I need to maintain the livelihood that I have today I'm realizing now to um, mitigate the possibility of um, catastrophe we're probably going to need to put Slick Dave in the back room so he doesn't tip us over come on Slick Dave you can't have you ruining the mac and cheese dog very nice <laughs> Okay. Uh, now that we have the blanket down, we're gonna chop up the Franks and then do our stupid battery pack thing. It's not stupid, it's um, chef certified. It is it about as stupid as shampoo shoes? That was a good idea! <laughs> that <laughs> took two hours to clean up. <laughs> Alright, fold the edge over. This edge? Yep, like a burrito there. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Boom, perfect. It's like binging with Babish. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to... <laughs> <laughs> Budget's about the same. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna keep this elevated. We're gonna set the power brick here and wrap this around it a little bit. Kind of just wrap this around the power brick. This is, the power brick's actually very, very hot right now too. <laughs> so I have very high hopes for the wieners. Right there. And you're gonna wanna place a cat bed right over the top to, it, it's necessary to fully seal this in now we're gonna run to the store and pray to god that our house doesn't burn down in the meantime just doing a quick fan check okay yeah that's pretty loud <laughs> <laughs> i've never heard the fan going so hard right now it's going oh my god <laughs> why would you do this now we're gonna um we're just gonna let it sit for maybe about 20 25 minutes um, turns out they didn't have instructions on the box as to how long you're supposed to let it sit when you cook it on a MacBook Pro. Uh, so we're going to let it sit for a while, come back, and drop in the noodles. Alright, we've let this sit now for about 25 minutes. I think that it might be as warm as it's going to get. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and plop the macaroni in and see if we can get it to cook. Lift this back. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> this is like a wave of heat that just <laughs> came out of here. Okay, I'm just going to kind of poke the thermometer down into the pot real quick. It's going up. Come here, come here, look at it. It's going up. Can you see that? It's going past 80. Okay, so maybe it's about 90 right now. That's not too bad. It's still going. That's pretty good. It's still going, so I'm gonna stick the macaroni in here. I hope I, I just don't wanna lose too much heat. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're just gonna pour some mac in there. Fair enough. All right. Get it so it doesn't stick. That is 
legitimately really warm. Really? Legitimately really warm. I don't Stick want... your finger in there. Oh, okay. That is surprising. That's not too bad. How warm that got. <laughs> I know they're probably going to clump up because I don't want to stir them as much. But let's stick the lid back on and set the timer. For what? I don't know. <laughs> what would we even set it to? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> That's really warm. I'm sticking the thermometer in here. This is warmer than the other one. This is going up faster. Okay. <laughs> it's up to 100 degrees. Okay. So these are totally going to cook. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. All right. So we'll keep these going. Incubate it with the cat bed. And let them cook. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes now with the noodles cooking. I'm gonna take this off, uh, lift this off here. Let's look at our noodles. Okay, they're looking thicker. They actually know. look like they expanded. They're, they're feeling squishier. Of course, we can't really stir them with this on top because it'll let out too much heat. Dude, that's getting like, it's getting borderline hot. You should, you should actually like have one. Oh, they're still pretty al dente. <laughs> yeah, still, it's pretty bad still. Let's put that in for a little while longer. All right, this is it. This is the final check. God. To see whether or not this actually worked. Man, my computer is just screaming at me right now. I wish the mic was better, you'd be able to hear. Oh no, that doesn't look very promising. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> they just look melted. Oh, that's disgusting. We didn't turn it around. Oh, look or at like this. A... All right, well, we gotta try it though. They are, they are definitely cooked. There is a good amount of heat coming out of here. Mm -hmm. I see a very little bit of steam coming out. That's interesting enough in itself. <laughs> oh, look at how gross that looks though, honestly. See if this will improve the quality at all. These got very warm. Yeah. These are very, very warm. Okay, so the power brick was very successful. About 105 is that was what we got these on. Okay. That is, that is too hot to hold. Oh, look at that. They're fully cooked. They come cooked. Shut up. Okay. I mean... It's legitimately warm. Like it, it, it feels and tastes like you do a cookout for your family. You take the stuff off the grill, mm -hmm. but then the kids are still fucking around in the swimming pool, and it's another like twenty minutes before you eat. But they're fully cooked. It's about that temperature. Okay. Hey, get get real close with the camera so we can get that that ASMR sound. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's plate it up. I only have one disposable plate left, and it is a Domino's takeout plate. Now we have the fancy. <laughs> MacBook mac and cheese. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's test it out. So here's the final product right here. Nice and delicious. We're going to try it out. A little taste test the MacBook mac and cheese. You ready? You're going uh, to have the clean for it. Here you go. Mm. It's like glue. Yeah, it's not the greatest. It's kind of like, it's like when you reheat mac and cheese, but you only put it in for like 10 seconds. <laughs> it did get warm. Well, yeah, it, it, it's warm. It's just, if this is lukewarm and this is warm, the hot dog clocks in about right about here in the overall piece. Um, to say it's good is an overstatement. Uh, <laughs> The hot dogs are fine, but I mean, it's a hot dog. You can't really wreck it. I think what brings this piece down the most is the mac and cheese. It tastes like if you if you sprinkled some flour into some Elmer's glue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty bad. But regardless, it did cook. The noodles are fully soft. There's no bite to them. Mm -hmm. No crunch at all. Theo apparently likes them. I'm just going to eat them. I, this is my dinner. So. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I would say overall success-wise, I would give this probably a, a 4 out of 10. Um, I'm very afraid to go touch my MacBook. I'm probably going to have to hard reset it just so because I'm not screwing around with closing all those programs. It is incredibly hot. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you like what you saw or didn't like, go ahead and leave a like down below. Helps us out. Really appreciate it. Also, we should mention, in case you haven't actually wondered... This video was indeed sponsored by Poker Stars Play. Uh, thank you so much for letting me shoe in some of those uh, sponsors from time to time. I know, you know, it kind of gets clunky sometimes, but it's also really fun to pay the rent. So, thank you for your patience throughout that. I really appreciate you having me around. Um, I'm, I'm good. I'm not going to eat anymore. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>